Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to do a hot caramel craze signature latte from Dunkin' Donuts. Now, all these ingredients I was able to get at Walmart. Um, I did get this off of Amazon, the caramel syrup, but you can get caramel syrup uh, from Walmart too. We're going to use a Dunkin' Donuts coffee uh, K-cup. And we're going to use the Keurig K-Cafe. I really like this Keurig machine. Um, because it can do an espresso shot with a coffee K-cup. So we're going to make a small. That's kind of one of the limitations of this machine is it can only do about 12 ounces. So this is going to be a hot caramel craze signature latte from Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to need a little bit of caramel drizzle. This is kind of the thicker caramel that you drizzle on top. Again, this is the caramel syrup. Um, I'm going to use 2% milk. You can use skim milk, whole milk. This machine does really well with all those milks. And then I got these at Walmart. These are the Dunkin' Donuts um, K-Cups. Now, the, they do drizzle a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on top. I've got ground cinnamon. So if you had cinnamon sticks and kind of uh, chipped away some of the, the cinnamon sticks, their cinnamon is a little uh, thicker, like a little, looks like grains of salt almost. So, But I mix this with a little bit of brown sugar, and then this is what we're going to drizzle on top. It tastes really good. So back to the K-Cafe. Uh, we're going to be doing a latte. And this thing will run two ounces through a coffee K-Cup. Now normally a coffee is about six or eight ounces. But for a shot, that's way too much. So when we do the latte side, it's going to run two ounces through this K-Cup, which gives us a really strong coffee, which I consider kind of like a K-Cup, like an espresso shot. So let's put our milk in. There's two lines there. We're going to fill it up to the latte line, which is about six ounces of milk. We're going to put the lid on. Again, this is a hot drink. So we're just going to press the latte button. We're not going to press the cold. And that's going to heat this milk up to about 150 degrees. And it's going to, going to give us some froth. So on the K-Cup side, we're just going to lift the handle, put our Dunkin' Donuts K-Cup in. We're going to press the latte button. Now when we press the latte button, the strong and the shot light are lit up. To brew the espresso shot, all we have to do is press the K button. I'm going to get our drink ready first. We're going to put two tablespoons of this syrup in. Okay, so it beeped at us, it let it know it's done. Here's our milk. And again, this is up to about 150 degrees. Yep. So we're gonna dump it into the cup with the syrup. We're gonna put all the froth in. You can see we don't have a lot left. Then I'm gonna put the drink over here. Then I'm gonna press the K button because I've got the K-cup in, and now we're going to brew our espresso shot right into the milk. Some really cool separation there okay so this is a stirred drink so now we're gonna stir in kind of mix everything together and that melts away some of that froth then they add whipped cream you can leave the whipped cream off if you want Now that's quite a bit of whipped cream. 
Then they drizzle a little bit of caramel on it. And then you're just going to take some of this. It doesn't take much because that cinnamon has a lot of flavor in it. And there you go. That's a hot caramel craze signature latte that they make at Dunkin' Donuts. So this drink would cost you about $3.50 at Dunkin' Donuts. We can make it here for $1.25. I've got 19 cents worth of milk, around 50 cents for a K-cup, and 50 cents for the syrups, 5 cents for the uh, whipped topping, and I, I don't include the cost of the Keurig K-Cafe. You can get them anywhere from $100, $150. So we can save a lot of money by making this drink at home, and this just tastes really good. Now, this is a sweet drink. It takes all the bitterness of the coffee taste away, but you do get that caffeine from the coffee grounds. So check out my other video. You can use the reusable K-cup to get your espresso shot. Make sure you use a filter because you get sediment in your espresso shot if you don't, but you can use normal coffee grounds. So if you just got normal coffee grounds around, um, these reusable K-Cups work really well, and you can get your two-ounce espresso shot with this Keurig K-Cafe. And you'll save about a quarter, so you can get the drink down to almost a dollar by using these reusable K-Cups. And Dunkin' Donuts does sell, I don't have a bag with me, but they do sell a bag of their coffee grounds at Walmart. So again, this is this Keurig K-Cafe. I really like this machine. I've been doing a lot of different drinks. I've been doing McDonald's drinks, Starbucks drinks from this Kira K Cafe. And I hope these videos help. That's the intention of my videos. I just want to help others kind of use this machine and make different drinks. I check my comments on a daily basis. If you have any comments on if there was something I did that maybe wasn't quite right. You know, I'm by, I'm by no means an expert on this. I'm just trying to figure it out and help others. And if there's a certain drink you'd like made or anything about the ingredients, um, I'm just more than willing to help. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.